wanted to set up some sites for dormouse monitoring. We put out 50 boxes here back at the beginning of the summer and we've been checking them every month, excluding August. And we've had quite a few dormouse and it's been great fun. It's been really good for the trainees. So we have a box. I've got my sock and stuffed it in a hole, which is in the back. Slide the lid very gradually and then peer in. And what you're looking for really um, is a kind of accumulation of nesting material. So dormice, one of the most distinctive things about them in the way they build their nest, the leaves they collect are straight off the tree. Whereas a wood mouse, they'll collect a lot of leaves, but they'll be brown leaves off the floor. So if you peer through and you see an accumulation of nesting material, at that point, we'll shut it up and take it down. But if you see green leaves in particular, that's a very good suggestion. That there's likely to be a dormouse in there. So it goes down into the bag. Yeah, and then lift the lid off and out the box. Oh, it's a dormouse. It's a dormouse. The idea is to catch the dormouse with the minimum amount of stress possible. So that's weighing, so 11 and a half. That's a decent weight, yeah. If you haven't seen a dormouse before, the hairy tail is really, really distinctive. And then he goes, go on. And we're poking the bum. We've just had a really exciting find. We found a black dormouse, which is very rare. So this is extraordinary, really. This is a black dormouse. As far as I know, they've only been recorded from uh, Germany. 19 grams. As far as I know, this is the first time this little guy has been seen in the UK, which is extraordinary. I mean, it's just amazing. I can't believe it, to be honest. So there we go, a black dormouse.